The lesson that God was trying to teach is that although the Chaldeans were raised up by God, a hasty and a bitter nation, and the righteousness of God had to wait, this is a faith fight. My wife preached that a couple of weeks ago. It is something that you cannot just easily look up. Because it is your faith the size of a mustard seed that opens the doors into the belief of God. Right. It is your faith that you have to get rid of the despair. Did I just make that up? If so, we're going to go with it. If we just want to go through, go through with this thing of writing the vision down, it takes some faith to look where you want to be and to trust in God to get you where you want to be if you're doing it for the edification of God. It is your faith that will give you the energy to run this thing out until you see what the end is going to be. It is your faith that allows you to look at your naysayers and say, oh, no, I'm not going down that road All right. because God has a different road for me to go down. It is your faith that allows you to walk into a room and the atmosphere changes right. just because God is just being that good. Yeah. I'm ready to go home now, fellas. But it is your faith yeah. that allows God to walk inside of you yeah. and to do whatever he wants to do in you. Yeah. It is your faith yeah. that allows God to create in you a clean heart right. and to renew a right spirit in you. It is your faith that allows you to walk around with your head held high, even when your faith account looks low. It is your faith that allows you to walk outside of your door, knowing that the job you're going on to is just a means to an end, because God has something greater in store for you. It is your faith that gives you the tenacity to look the devil in the eye and say, you ain't got nothing for me. It is your faith that allows God to stand tall inside of you. It is your faith that times look tough and times look rough that God is the true way maker. It is your faith that allows you to believe in a God that will never leave you nor will he forsake you. It is your faith that when you lose somebody you love, you still got to put on that smiling face and let everybody know that everything's going to be all right. It is your faith that when people doubt you, that God is your biggest cheerleader. It is your faith that allows you to believe in a God that sin is the only begotten God through the canals of a woman who was a single woman who wasn't even married that was born by, the, by way of the Catholic conception. It was your faith that allowed you to look upon that cross and know what took place. It was your faith that allowed you to know that the one of blood covers you is just as white as snow. It is your faith that allows you to look at the cross and knowing that they put nails in his hands, they put nails in his feet, they pierced him in his side, they hung my Jesus real high. And for me, and for me and you, he died. It is your faith to believe that he died upon the third day. But on that third Sunday morning, he got up without power in his hand. It was your faith that allows you to walk this thing out every day when everybody says you can't. Because you know that Jesus is sitting at the right hand of the Father in the seated for you and in the seated for me. 